Oh, here we go. Yeesh, no need to be so salty. I wasn't talking to you. Orange, leave me alone. Hey, hey, Peppa, hey. I think he's talking to me. What do you want, Orange? Not talking to you. Hey, Peppa, hey, hey. Are you talking to me? No. You mean me? No. Me? You bet your bacon I'm talking to you. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe Peppa Pig is in the kitchen. Well, what brings you by? Are you planning on squealing the spotlight from me on my own show? <laughs> oh no, nothing like that. Today's the famous pig convention. Didn't you see all the signs? Oh, that's what those were for. I just figured my illiterate friend Little Apple was trying to throw a picnic. <laughs> I heard that. Sure, but could you read it if I wrote it down? Orange! Well, the swine in the cheese mixer is just about to start. Would you like to come meet some of my famous friends? Heck yeah, I want to meet Peppa Pig's muddy buddies. <laughs> right this way. So how do you keep in touch with all your famous pig friends? Are you pen pals? <laughs> Please try not to embarrass me in front of all of my friends, Orange. Got it. No more pig puns. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, hey, Miss Piggy. Are you speaking to more? What's your favorite play? I bet it's Hamlet. <laughs> oh, that was awful. What can I say? It ain't easy being orange. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Okay, Miss Piggy, but you're gonna miss me. <laughs> you're not going to act this way around all of my friends, are you? I promise I'll behave. I won't be an attention hog. <laughs> if you please. There are some very, very famous pigs here, and I'd like to fit in. There's Porky Pig, there's Piglet, there's Peter Porker, Beep Bop, and over there's a... Babe! What did you call me? Oh, I'm not actually offended, just playing for the cameras. No, Babe! A pleasure to meet you, sir. And we're just getting started. Over there is Wilbur from Charlotte's Web. <laughs> eh, I'm not sure that's Wilbur. Pretty sure that's just some pig. Oh, is Little Piggy here? No, he went to the market, but here are the three little pigs. I'm the one that made my house out of sticks. I'm the one who made the house out of bricks. I'm the one who made my house out of straw. I gotta ask, why straw? Well, I don't know, but I am wearing a boot as a hat, so I'm not exactly famous for my great ideas. Which reminds me, was it the straw pig's idea to hold this picnic in the kitchen? Um, as a matter of fact, it was. Oh, yeah, that probably wasn't the best sty idea. <laughs> get it, sty? Yes, we get it. But why is that a bad idea? Pork chop. Oh, we know all about pork chop. <laughs> pork chop, come over here. They invited me on one condition. I only break boards, not skulls. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not really what I meant. Hmm. Wow, it got hog wild in here. <laughs> not funny, Orange. Sorry, I didn't mean to butcher that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Storytime with Pear. Orange is out buying a new kazoo right now, so we shouldn't have any unwelcome interruptions as we read the story of the three little pigs. Ahem. <clears throat> Once upon a time. <laughs> Orange discovered online shopping and bought a kazoo from home. Woohoo! No! Sorry, Pear, but this orange is round in shape and round the kitchen. <laughs> Ooh, the three little pigs. I love telling this story. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Uh, fine. Just tell it the way it's written, though, okay? Please, not a chance. <laughs> I got this. Straight out the dome, yo. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. And each of these pigs had a little piggy house to help keep them safe from a big, bad worm. <laughs> No, it's not a worm, it's a wolf. Wolf, right, sorry, I read that wrong. You aren't reading anything. <laughs> yeah. 
So the piggies find out this wolf is coming and they all run to their houses. The first little pig, he built his house out of boogers. Uh, excuse me? I I'm sorry, I know you prefer the French pronunciation, boogers. It's not the pronunciation I have issues with, dude. The first little pig made his house out of straw. Oh, well, in my version, he uses a straw. That's how he gets the boogers that are way in there, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so the wolf's all like, booger pig, booger pig, let me come in. And the booger pig's like, not by the booger on my chinny chin chin. And the wolf's like, what ifs? That's fine. I'll just hop and pop and I'll blow your house up. What? And he did. The booger house went up like a torch. People three states over were getting bits of boogers falling in their soup like crazy. <laughs> Orange. Okay, okay, I'll move on. So the wolf went to the second pig's house. Now this pig built his house out of sticks. No, actually he built it way better than that. Second pig built his house to code and adhere to the OSHA regulation. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. And let me tell you, neither did the wolf. He showed up and was really impressed by the quality siding OSHA pig used. So naturally, wolf wanted to get the name of OSHA pig's general contractor. So he said, OSHA pig, OSHA pig, let me come in. And OSHA pig's like, not by the hair of my skinny shin shingles. <laughs> no, brother. Then the wolf goes, then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house up. And let me guess, it didn't work because the house was well built and up to code. Not even close. The wolf used a ton of TNT. That house was gone, baby, gone. <laughs> Orange. The whole moral of this story is how taking your time and building a proper house pays off in the end. Jeez, Pear, there's still a third pig we haven't even talked about yet. Let me finish. Yeah, all right, I guess you're right. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Any hoosies, the wolf goes to the third pig's house. Can you guess what his house was made of? Well, in the book, it's bricks. Well, in my mind, it's Bruce Willis's. <laughs> I'm sorry, the pig's house is made out of Bruce Willis, the actor? Yep, a whole bunch of them. This makes no sense. It makes six sense if you ask me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This better be going somewhere, Orange. So the wolf's like, little pig, little pig. And then Bruce Willis pig cuts him off and he's all like, look, we all know where this is going. Not by the Bruce on my Willy Will Willis. Just go ahead and blow up my house, okay? And the wolf's like, you asked for it. Here it comes. And? And he does. Uh, Blows up the house! The final house blows up? That's not how it's supposed to end. There, you don't understand. Imagine all those Bruce Willis's flying through the air, riding the blast wave like crazy. Have you ever imagined such a thing? I can safely say I have not. Well, imagine it, darn it. Bruce Willis is flying everywhere, riding the waves, looking super tough, falling over people's soup bowls three states over. <laughs> okay, I imagined it. So, what's the moral of the story? The moral is, um, explosions are awesome! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the end! Hey, what are you doing, Orange? Trying to burp so loud this fork falls off the counter. Oh man, you almost did it! Grapefruit, get in here! You gotta see this! Oh, we burping forks off ledges over here! Here goes nothing! <gasps> Oh my god, he did it! What a legend! Tasteful. It's a wonder that no one has yet eaten him. Hey, who are you? I, my dear food fellow, am a $200 pork chop. Grass fed, seared to perfection, bathed in a Worcestershire sauce based marinade, whose secret recipe is kept in an impenetrable fault. Well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Get it? Because he's meat. Ah, puns. I would have expected no less. Now, if you would, I'm attempting to seek out one knife so that I might be sliced and consumed. Um, what? Hey, sorry, bro. Did I hear correctly? You're trying to get yourself knifed? I guess that's why he's called a pork chop, huh? <laughs> oh, I'll have you know. I'm not merely some pedestrian piece of loin. <laughs> You'll know I'm a meat of the highest caliber when you hear the satisfied mmm -hmm escape the lips of whomever consumes me. Oh! I can make that noise with my mouth. Wanna hear? No, I do not wish to. That isn't the noise I mentioned. That is an N sound. I made an M sound. No. I cannot believe I'm having this conversation. Me neither. 
please, where might I find this knife I have heard so much about? It is my singular desire to tap dance upon the taste buds of a perspicacious palate. Perhaps peek up at the passing point and implement. <laughs> Take cover! Ah, it is here. Ooh, the time is nigh. I have awaited this very moment for... Ah! Uh oh The piercing pain that Pork is experiencing is palpable! <laughs> Enough for the alliteration! The moment is so past. Oh, while I admit this is excruciating, it is my dream. Go on, enjoy me. I have been prepared to perfection by talented chefs who... Wait, what are you doing? No! Stop! You're overcooking me! At least they're not overbaking you, too. Am I right? <laughs> Bake one! You cannot serve me well done. I may as well be a Walmart pork chop if you're going to cook me all the way through. Uh oh Here come the condiments! Ketchup! You're going to serve me with ketchup! Have you no humanity? I'm going to taste downright ridiculous! This is not the way a $200 pork chop is meant to be consumed! <laughs> They are codes of the utmost importance. The secret codes to what? Maybe I'll punch it into this keypad here. No, don't put the codes in. Oh, my God, no. You guys know what Biggie Pudding is? Huh, I guess I don't know. Huh? Ah! Oh, no! So, it was probably a bad idea that I put a Biggie Pudding name tag on everyone's back when they weren't looking? What the? Huh? Ah! Ah! Um, Orange, why is there mud all over the counter? No idea! And what happened to the huge mound of dirt I put here yesterday and then covered in snow? Ugh, dude, it obviously melted and created all of this mud! Hmm, I don't follow! Oh well, guess it's mud boring time! <laughs> Radical! Huh? Uh, excuse me, uh, oink oink. Coming through, just rolling the mud like a normal, everyday, ordinary pig. Uh, oinkity oink oink. Way to go, Orange! Your mud is luring ham roast out into the open! Have you not looked at the Chris Massacre list lately? Ham is the very last thing on it! That means you need to get out of here, dude. Like, right now! Aw, oh, man, this doesn't mean I'm gonna have to walk somewhere, does it? Of course not! You don't have any legs! <laughs> It doesn't matter how you leave, you just need to leave! They can come for you at any moment! Ah, oh, that sounds exhausting. It's just that the slop is so delicious, and this mud is so soothing. Uh, oink oink, I'm a real pig. What are you talking about? You WERE a real pig, but now you're a roast! Then how come I say oink so much, huh? Oink oink, real pig, right here. He makes a good point, Bear! He does say oink a lot! Ah, come on, dude, I'm trying to help you out here! Hide yourself before... Oh no, no, it's too late! Aw oh, man, I was just getting comfy. No need to swine about it, Ham. <laughs> oh man, you guys got a nice sauna in here. Oh, wait, wait, what, wait, what's the deal here? Hey, hey it's getting hot in here. Oh crap. Oh, that's a good squeal. I'm gonna have to practice that one. Please don't. But how will I get better if I don't practice? <laughs> Oink, 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 oink. Ah, oh, man. That was unpleasant. Oh, I got such a sunburn. Uh, excuse me, would somebody uh, pull the thermometer out of my rump roast? Whoa! Pam, you look like you've been baking. <laughs> now I can get back to what's truly important. Rolling in mud and sipping slop. And don't forget squealing. You know, that's a pretty good impression, but it's more its more throaty, you know? Like, Would you both stop squealing? Ham, you're still in danger. You need to get out of here before they decide to carve you. Yeah, 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 I, I, I guess. Uh, oh, but look how awesome that mud looks. I mean, really, come on, like, okay, I'm just gonna roll around in it for just a few more seconds, and then I'll get out of here, okay? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> Oink, oink, 
oink, oink. I'm a real pig. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Orange, you're not a real pig. Would you please stop it? Ah, oh, knife is here. Get out of here now. Get out of here now, dude. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you saying get out of here now, dude, because I uh, have mud in my ears. And I don't have ears. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. Oh my god! Shut up! Uh oh! Stick a fork in that pork! He's done! Oh. Wait, wait, wait a minute! Why are they not carving you? Do they not want to eat you? Meh, maybe it's because I'm covered in mud. You know? Probably don't taste very good. Yeah! I think you might be right, Ham! Looks like the humans don't want to eat you because you're so dirty! This calls for a celebratory squeal! <laughs> Oink, 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 uh, huh? Ah! Uh, wait, why, why are they throwing me on the floor? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, let the dog down! Oh, oh, it hurts so bad! Oh, the ham vanity! Ah! Whoa! This has been one doggone ex massacre, huh, Pear? <laughs> oh, good grief. Psst! Hey! Is it safe to come out? Carrot? How did you survive? Well, that fish magnet. It's covering my name on the list. Well, I think they overlooked me. Whoa, he's right. It's a Christmas miracle. <sighs> I can finally step out into the sun. I'm free to live my life. I'm free to shout it at the top of my lungs. I am Carrot, and for Christmas this year, I am free. <laughs> Maybe shouldn't have shouted it quite so loud, dude. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah, poor Carrot. I was really rooting for him. <laughs> uh, dude, let's just go open presents. Good idea! <laughs> Guess that's a wrap on this year's X-Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>